If you're just starting bartending, this is literally everything you need to know about mixed drinks. As a quick disclaimer, this may not be a perfect definition of what a mixed drink might be. To be honest, if you ask any bartender, they'll probably give you a different answer or maybe the same. I personally think this is the simplest way to explain it, but you know, teach their own. <laughs> also another quick side note is this is the first time I'm using a microphone, so I would really appreciate reading some comments on whether if this is better audio or worse audio than like my past videos, the input would be very awesome to have. <laughs> But anyway, let's get into the video. <laughs> so what is a mixed drink and how is it different than a cocktail? So technically, the only difference between a mixed drink and a cocktail is the number of ingredients used to make the drink. Mixed drinks use two ingredients versus cocktails use three or more ingredients. And the two ingredients used in mixed drinks are just the spirit and the mixer. There's two subcategories to mixers. First, we have the highball. The highball mixer is usually served in a highball glass, and highballs are usually a spirit and a carbonated beverage. So that's gonna be like your tonic water, club soda, or even Coke. And the second subcategory of a mixer is called a juicer. So with the juicer, it's gonna be the spirit and some kind of juice. So that's gonna be like your tequila pineapple, your screwdriver, and so on and so forth. Now we're gonna go over the popular types of mixers. Popular mixers include soda water or club soda, Coke, Sprite, orange juice, pineapple juice, cranberry juice, grapefruit juice, squirt, which is a grapefruit soda, tonic water, ginger ale or ginger beer, and even energy drinks, specifically Red Bull. So how do you make a mixed drink? Let me tell you, mixed drinks are literally the easiest type of drink to make behind the bar, especially because you just build it right in the glass. And we're actually gonna make one right now. We're gonna make a ranch water. So we're gonna start with using a highball glass. We're gonna start by filling our glass all the way to the top with some ice. If you're working behind a real live action bar, um, depending on your establishment and what their standard pour is, you could be using one and a half to two ounces of your spirit. But because I am drinking at my house, I'm gonna do a full two ounces of tequila. <laughs> Next, we're going to add a half ounce of lime juice. And lastly, we're going to top off our ranch water with some Topo Chico. I'm going to garnish this bad boy with a lime wedge. And it's time to take a sip. <laughs> Cheers! You know what? So good. <laughs> I could definitely crush so many of these during the summer. <laughs> so how are mixed drinks typically ordered? So the cool thing about mixed drinks is you literally build it however the customer tells you how they want it to be built. <laughs> Meaning, if somebody asks you for a vodka Red Bull, how do you build it? You just use vodka and a Red Bull. Same with a tequila soda, vodka crayon, gin and tonic, rum and coke. So yeah, it quite literally is self-explanatory. Um, you just build it exactly how they order it. <laughs> Another thing to add, if someone asks for a rum and coke, you typically use white rum with a rum and coke, unless they want like a Captain and Coke, then you use Captain Morgan for your Captain and Coke. <laughs> and actually going off of that, people do ask for like specific brands that they want in their mixed drink. Like how I just said, a Captain and Coke, Jack and Coke, Jack Daniels and Coke or a tank and tonic, like a tanqueray and tonic. <laughs> but unless they ask for like a specific brand, then you just use your well spirits. There are a couple mixed drinks that have actual names to them. For instance, you're definitely probably gonna come across somebody who's asking for a screwdriver, which is gonna be vodka and orange juice. Next, we have the Greyhound, which is gonna be vodka and grapefruit juice. And also going off of the Greyhound, if somebody wants a salty dog, that's basically the exact same cocktail, but they want a salted rim. The vodka can also goes by a couple different names, like a Cape Cod or a Cape Codder. Another very popular named mixed drink is called a 7 and 7. And a 7 and 7 is just Seagram 7 and 7 up. 
Next, we're gonna go over some cocktails that are, to be honest, I kind of consider them as mixed drinks because they're like barely a cocktail. <laughs> The first one is called a Cuba Libre, which is basically just a rum and coke with a little bit of lime juice in there. Cuba Libres are the bomb.com, so if you haven't had one, you should definitely try one. <laughs> Next we have the Batanga. So the Batanga is honestly almost exactly the same as a Cuba Libre. Instead of white rum, you use tequila, and it also comes with a salted rim. Next one might be controversial, but it's my personal opinion, so whatever. <laughs> tequila Sunrise. It's literally just tequila, orange juice, and a little bit of grenadine. Next we have the ranch water. It has three ingredients, so it's technically a cocktail. But honestly, it's mostly just tequila and uh, topo chico with a little bit of lime. Next we have the paloma. The traditional way to make a paloma is using tequila, lime juice, and squirt, which is a grapefruit soda. But technically a cocktail, but it's a mixed drink. <laughs> And honestly, these are just examples. I could list every single one of them, but we would be here for a long time. So I don't wanna do that to you guys, because I care about you. <laughs> this drink is getting to me. So another common way that people order their drinks is sometimes they'll ask for a little splash of this or a splash of that. <laughs> and basically what that means is they literally want a splash of an ingredient into their mixed drink. To give you some examples, I personally am not a huge fan of vodka crayons. Um, if I do want cranberry juice, I'll usually ask for a vodka soda with a splash of cranberry juice. I know that there's some bartenders out there that will do a heavy splash. I personally literally just do like a ch -ch splash and call it a day. I find that people who ask for a splash are literally just asking for a splash of it in their drink. If you get someone asking for more, I suggest just grabbing a shot glass, pouring more of the splash into the shot glass. That way they can measure it into their own drink, to their own personal preference. <laughs> Alright you guys, that's basically the end of today's video. Um, yeah, very short video, very straight to the point. Um, mixed drinks are not complicated at all, so don't be stressing about them. <laughs> Literally the only ones you have to remember are like the ones that have actual names. Otherwise people will literally just tell you exactly like what they want and then you just build it off of that. So, but anyway, that is the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you learned something if you're a brand new bartender or if you just enjoyed today's content. Leave a comment down below, leave a like, maybe subscribe, consider subscribing. I am now going to finish my ranch water, so I will see you guys in my next video. Stay fly! <laughs>